All right, y'all, back at you. Today we are gonna do, uh, what are we doing? I'm going to go around the garden and show you all about the perennial herbs that we like to put in all of our food. Um, all we, of our food? Well, most of our food. I mean, you know, like That's a big claim. All right. Burritos and chicken and- uh, Ice cream. Chicken, not ice cream. Right. But anyways, um, so this one is probably my favorite and it's one of the easier plants that um, that we've grown here. Uh, this is called uh, Cuban oregano. And uh, you just, I usually, when I, when I get herbs, I just try to take like the top little like pinch of plants off. So what are you doing? Are you collecting some? For so I'm just collecting some for, um, for some chicken for later on that I'll cut up. And then when I, when I process it, I just like slice it like that to get little pieces. But anyways, it's very easy to propagate. Um, I literally, maybe a week and a half ago, I, um, I cut off, it gets kind of like gangly and long. If you can see, it kind of like stretches out. Um, so I cut it way back and yes. then I, I popped little I pieces of it all you. over and, and then they're all week and a half old little, um, yeah, now, little so, plants now. now. So hold on. So we did this uh, probably a couple weeks ago with this guy right here. Yes. Right, and he's and you can see he's doubled in size since we did it to him. Yep, I did this one to see if it would work because right. I was I was thinking we didn't we didn't soak soak these in water to try and you know we didn't use root hormone or anything right they just went right in the ground and right right and then over here we have another um, Cuban oregano. But this one's variegated and it tastes exactly the same. It just looks different. So literally, you know, I'm gonna take Ooh, this one's pretty. Take these pieces off here. You know, one thing that's great about this is that the uh, the bunnies don't get it. Bunnies don't seem to to care for this. So what stuff. are you doing there? So I'm just cutting it so I have like one set of leaves on each. Are you cutting Branch. this to eat, or are you gonna? I'm just sticking this. Oh, you're gonna. Th so you're gonna propagate. And then this oh, is literally. I'm just doing this because I love it, and I'd like to have a ground cover of it. Yeah. Uh, you need to make sure that you plant you it. Plant it the right the right way, way not upside <laughs> down. What's your favorite one, Teddy? If you uh, had the to pick. oregano. Yeah. The Cuban oregano. That's my. Favorite. The variegated one. Yeah, it's so cool. It is cool. It smells so good too. I bet you guys, it's so fragrant. You guys can probably smell it, just from here. Yeah. At home. It is delicious. I mean, you it. You have it, the smell vision. Smell vision. It, it. I. I prefer it actually over regular oregano, which I use also, which is over here. But. These, what do you mean regular oregano? Like. Um. I think this is like gonna. So is this the same stuff that we could have grown up in Georgia? This is the same stuff. This is like what you get at like gardening centers. Yeah, um, this is your I see you bought something else too. What is this? You got some. And then so, so then we also like this stuff. This is sweet basil. basil yeah. Obviously it's kind of a little Ooh, thirsty. Need to water it. Yeah. I just got this from the grocery store uh, the other day because if you get it in the ground uh, this time of year, you'll get a good three, four months out of it before the white fly starts. Yeah. decimating it um but it's not course, a gotta... long term it's not a long term basil that you can use year round here in the garden and Actually, we got to keep that one in, in out of the florida sun too. yeah it needs to be in um yeah. you know a little dappled light but all right um, what else we got so over here we have um blue basil what else we got oh with the cool so, flowers yes yeah, so, yeah, look we got some what's that, carpenter bee or a bumblebee looks like look a bumblebee him. yeah look at him but this is the same. You want to just pinch the top parts off. If you just pinch the top parts off like this, you can tell I collect mostly from here, which is why there aren't flowers over here. And I've been letting this part go to seed so that I can plant more of this because yeah, so we don't, this we stuff haven't, tastes awesome. We haven't propagated this one like we did the uh, Cuban oregano over there, right? No. Right. No. This is just one big bush, right? No, I've just been collecting seed. Oh, and so. look what's behind it. Oh, this yeah. one, everybody, come on, everybody should have this. What's this, Teddy? Rosemary. Yeah, I mean, Rosemary. if, if so you don't this... have that in your garden, I mean, almost anywhere in this country, then, I mean, come on. Yeah. 
So I take like big branches of this yeah. and, it smells and shove so that good. in the yeah, cavity of a roasted chicken or oh, you can yeah. make wreaths out of it. It just smells so smells good. Smells your house up really yeah. nice. Um, it's All right, what else we a got? a great herb. Um, let's see. Um, what else we got? Well, of course there's lemongrass, but that doesn't really, um, this is a, another great perennial herb, but um, I wouldn't, I don't use it with this batch of herbs. Yeah, this right. is more of like, a savory herb blend that I'm yeah. making. Hey, what about these guys? Oh, these guys. Okay, so all these are are just green onions that I purchased from the grocery store. I didn't cut the bottoms into our food, the little hairy parts, um, and I just stuck them in the ground and planted them, and they do awesome here. Um, and it's like you get a two for one. You know, you buy food in the grocery store, and you get a plant in your garden. So. So we got these at the at the grocery store those are just grocery store i don't even think they were organic um they were just green onions that gotcha. i bought so gotcha gotcha hold on just a minute buddy just a minute let's see oh over here i have black garlic this stuff is awesome this is like a chive this is what i use for chives um so this i bought as a plant from a nursery um these i started from seed a year ago whoa yeah holy cow so, so we'll, we'll be buying them from the uh but the, you once you just need to buy them once yeah. and then they they last forever because i cut off this all the time you can tell i do look at all the all the amount that i cut off so well, look at um, this guys we're already getting a nice little nice little basket of stuff there yeah, yeah. you got anything on this nifty tower here yeah i did i've got some mint this tower needs a little bit of rejuvenation but, it's cool um, looking at least. It is cool. I've got some sorrel that I'm getting going in here and we'll see. But look, more green onions. Here's some chives. Um, yeah, so really, I mean, when we make, you know, chicken or, I mean, I don't know, anything where we want like, I guess, kind of like an Italian maybe Yeah, it's like blend. A, uh, Italian, like savory kinda, type. You know, we come out here and just basically grab a bunch and of like, this stuff. I use these, I chop them up and the like little rings and I just use them like a chive basically. You can put them in soups or um, or whatever. I'm trying to think, I feel like I'm missing one out here. But There's think, those bunnies. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. Because the cilantro. Whoa, where did that guy come so from? So there's a cilantro. Um, you cannot effectively grow cilantro here in Florida or I have not had luck with it. I've tried. Um, several times. I've tried from seed, I've tried from, from plants, and it just doesn't work out. So you can buy this plant called cilantro. However, the bunnies ate. Oh, yeah. I literally... Oh, that's, no good. that's no good for this us. This was like a plant yesterday. It's so no good for us. We got bunny stew living right over there. <sighs> so, all right, guys. Well, we just wanted to show y'all, uh, um, you know, some of the herbs we have in our garden and the ones that we commonly use in our food. And, uh, and anyways, if you guys uh, have any other ones that uh, you think might go good, uh, grow good uh, in our uh, climate down here, please let us know in the comments below. And uh, or if you have any uh, more information about the ones that we just showed you today, uh, please share. But until next time, what are you gonna do? Subscribe. Yeah, and if you don't, you'll be be in a big crock pot on the stove. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! You don't want that. Herbs with those herbs all right all right y'all so uh uh be sure to subscribe to our channel and until next time everybody take care